Hi, my name is Nathan Lesh. We're here at Jones Technical Institute in Jacksonville, Florida. We're going to give a brief overview of the air system in our Frank Liner military style truck. We're going to give the location of the compressor, the air tanks, and the brakes, and how they function. So we're going to come over to the engine compartment. And as you can see right here, this black component right here is our compressor. So what our compressor does is our compressor feeds our supply tank. So our supply tank is located right here, which is equipped with a drain valve. And our supply tank feeds into our primary and secondary tanks. So we have them, our primary and secondary are here located in the rear. And what our primary and secondary tanks do is they're the tanks that feed our brake chambers. So as you can see, we have a total of four brake chambers in the rear. So we have one brake chamber for each set of tires. So and then we'll come up to the front and our brake chamber up here is our service brake chamber for the front tires. So now we're going to take it into the cab. We're going to start the vehicle up and we're going to explain how these gauges, how you read them. So now that we're in the vehicle, as you can see here, we have our primary and then our secondary gauges. start to build. We're going to build up the tanks till we hit 60 psi. And once the tanks hit 60 psi, the lights shut off and reach our pressure for our air tanks. So once that's done, we'll shut it off. So what it's doing right now is as I press the brake, it pushes air into the chambers, fills up the diaphragms inside the brake chamber, and then when I release the brake, it releases that air inside the diaphragm. So whenever the air is released in the diaphragm, that's when your brakes disengage again. And now we're going to come out to the outside of the vehicle and I'll demonstrate whenever the brake is pressed how the brake chambers work. So as the brake is pressed, diaphragm is filled with air and it moves this plunger it moves the plunger outward which engages the brake as we release it retracts and pulls back in the spring pushes the plunger back in with the diaphragm